Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle cards. So I'm going to pull the first one. I'm going to choose the first one unless it comes out easily. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. It has done, actually. So let's go with these. We have, you'll have an opportunity to laugh at your demons and do what you love. <laughs> Very nice messages there, Cancer. So I'm just going to put those over there. If you're focusing on the negative or... That demon energy is shadow energy. So if you find yourself being drawn into some kind of negativity, mood or situation or person, this is an energy of focus on this. Focus on what brings you happiness, Grat gratification, love, contentment, fulfillment. Because that's how to deal with the situation, or certainly that's what spirit's saying. Uh, we have forgiveness. So holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest, most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful, and it has the capacity to heal and transform. Remember, forgiveness is how you release, move forward, make peace with something doesn't mean you forget it just means that it doesn't the toxic energy doesn't eat away at you okay so what do we have for cancer please angels spirits guides message for our lovely cancer yeah love the energy here oh it's my favorite card we have number 23 lead the way light your own path love this energy um and it's almost kind of like you see that there's kind of a star and it's almost like lighting up this stag to carve out their own path. It's divinely inspired, divinely guided. You're being guided, directed this month. But an opportunity to light your own path, do what you love, laugh at your demons, release toxic energy. Okay, so final Archangel message, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. I love this card. We have Dolphin. Live joyfully in the present, Archangel Jewels. Really like that message. Because we're so focused sometimes on what's ahead or what's gone. We forget to actually be, don't we? You know, and there's definitely an energy of just be, just enjoy. You know, it's a lovely, lovely energy there. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Cancer. And remember, these are messages from Spirit. So the first card is the message from Spirit. The second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is final words of advice or action. Okay. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides for March 2021. What is the message from Spirit, please? Thank you. Message from Spirit for Cancer. Thank you. Card is turned over. Page of Coins is the message from Spirit. We have the Four of Wands. And the Five of Swords, interestingly enough, is Final Words, Action, with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I get that. Okay, so Cancer, the... Coins is an interesting one, pentacles. Remember the page of coins, they're the tangible uh, building blocks of reality. So it can represent money career, can represent health, can represent foundational relationships, 
and so on and so forth can, you know, represent our home's property. So for some of you, you might be being asked to move in with somebody. I mean, that can be an opportunity for you. Um, it might well be for some of you. And you're being told to laugh at your demons, do what you love. This is a time for you to carve out your path, light your own path. Live joyfully in the present and embrace things that bring you joy. So for some of you, that could be an opportunity here. You might have an opportunity to move in with somebody. If, you know, the four, of, the four of Wands can be a card of celebration, home, committed relationship. It's the happy home card. Now, this can also be a card of celebration in the home due to some kind of achievement here because the page of coins can be financial messages, messages to do with financial career opportunities, which are bringing stability, security um, in the home, reasons to celebrate can also be a milestone energy as well, that four of wands. So take what resonates with you. So I definitely feel for some of you, there is a powerful message coming your way. Uh, an important message coming your way that is bringing uh, or reinforcing some kind of stability in the home life, the family, dynamic, reasons to celebrate that kind of energy. I... The interesting thing with the Five of Swords, and this is what I'm getting, the universe is saying, you know, there is such expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune around you at the moment. Things are really opening up for you. Obstacles are being removed. It might well be whatever was negative in your life or whatever caused you conflict is being removed. Things are being resolved. That can be that kind of energy. But the Wheel of Fortune is asking you to put your energy into what is going to bring you growth, happiness, celebration, milestone achievements, you know, because this is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, prosperity, very good in terms of money and career, very good in terms of just things opening up, opening up for you, expanding. So with this Five of Swords, it can be a card of, of conflict or negativity or focusing on the negative. And there's definitely an energy of you need to see past this now. You need to see past it. Why am I saying that? Because it's Venus in Aquarius, you know, and that, that visionary energy of Aquarius, the promise of something wonderful, but while this person stays in that five of swords, which is disruptive energy, they don't see beyond it, you know? So this is why you're being told to make peace. You see beyond the now, because for some of you, there is so many better things that want to come into your life here. And things are really turning in your favor or have the opportunity to. But this is that block, either a mental negativity or conflict in your external life or something that's conflicted you, your demons, that you need to see past now and move on from, make peace with. I'm not sorry, say, I'm saying you make peace in your energy with it and, and see past it. Uh, because for some of you, there are greater things ahead. You're being told this is just not in your interest anymore when there's so much better to come. So put your energy on what is going to bring this into your life. It's a beautiful message, Cancer. So let's pull. And that's why you're being told to live joyfully in the present, because this will just consume you. It's a mental energy, um, something maybe external, some conflict, disagreement, arguments, resentments, even jealousies. You know, it, it can really, really be that consuming energy that stops all the good things coming in. So do what you love, and that's what Spirit is telling you. Continue to grow by seeking new knowledge. We applaud your efforts. Number 43, lovely. So I hope you enjoyed the message from Spirit Cancer. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all, and I will see you next time. Thank you.